Hello, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to The Flutter Beacon. I'm being a little bit quiet because everyone has gone to sleep and I forgot to record this video and I'm trying to get back on schedule. So, you know. And I, I completely forgot to record this video. I'm literally ready for bed. I was about to get in and go to sleep and next thing I realised, hey, haven't recorded Sunday morning bacon. It's now like, what, two o'clock in the morning? <laughs> uh, I even got like uh, my braces in. I hate my braces retainer thing. It is the worst. Uh, I've been wearing it for well over a year now. It has shown up in videos a few times, I think. But yeah, it's absolutely horrible to have a retainer. I mean, braces, when you first get proper braces, like you get them across your teeth and it's just painful because it just compresses your teeth. The first day is always the worst when it comes to braces. Like, seriously. Uh, like, literally, I took the whole day off school when I got my braces first put in, and uh, instead we went, like, my mum took me to the cinema, and I, I saw Star Wars for the first time that day, just to distract me from the pain that was in my mouth, because it was pretty unbearable and Jar Jar Binks was quite the same <laughs> uh, nah I do not like Jar Jar Binks it got annoying but um yeah Star Wars and braces aren't quite the point actually no braces are the point you know what we're making this about braces <laughs> um what else can I talk about braces uh, braces, they get in the way of eating. When you first get the full Trantrax on, you can't eat anything. <laughs> like, the second you buy into something, it's painful. You literally have to get stuff mushed up, like mashed potato, and poured into your mouth like a smoothie. A chicken smoothie. Fish and chips smoothie. Movie. The movie. Starring Kevin Bacon. But, um, yeah, you can't eat sweets either because they just get stuck in your braces and then causes your braces to move and then it just becomes a much more painful experience. But after you've got past the first month, you start to get used to having tram tracks in your mouth. It becomes almost normal after like like the longer you have them in the more used to it that you are the less painful it is and just the all round better experience you will have but at the start it's very painful and you can't eat certain foods anymore even if you absolutely love them and you gotta keep sugar on a low down otherwise it really damages your braces and one time, a long time ago, during a PE game when I had the tram tracks in, I accidentally unhinged uh, one of the beams at the back of my teeth. I unhinged it, and it was literally sticking outside of my mouth, and I couldn't close my mouth anymore. Because it was sticking outside of my mouth, holding my mouth open. And I, I, I literally had to go to the dentist, like... I just, I just literally went up to the teacher, poked the teacher and said, hey, look at this, and then ran off to the dentist. Not quite like that, but you get the point, you get the point. And they, they sent me to Douglas because they couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> like, the dentist where I was couldn't do anything about it, he sent me to the better dentist in Douglas. So, you know, that sucked. Also, when you wear braces, you always have a little bit of a lisp. Especially when you're not used to talking with braces on. Like, listen to me now, it's got an incredible lisp. <laughs> okay, now I'm trying to put on the lisp. It's a bit fake now. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more I accidentally do it instead. And sometimes I just accidentally do it and don't even notice. 
And it's always with the S's. Always. Hang on. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's a lot better. Uh, but yeah, once you've got braces removed, everything feels weird. Like, once you had the tram on for so long, take them off, and it's so weird. Because then all of a sudden you've had them on for like, what, a year and a half? By the time I took mine off, it was a year and a half of wearing them. And it was such a weird experience to not have them on. It was joyful. I could eat proper, proper food again. <laughs> no, no, after a couple of months you can eat some foods. You just can't eat sweets still, no matter what. Or an apple. Come eat an apple. Although, no, like, I didn't eat an apple anyway. But yeah, it was such a weird experience to have them off. And then since I had them off, I've had this retainer. And I've had this retainer for one and a half years now at least. I have to wear it every single night. Um, it used to be a pain to clean in the morning. I'd get up in the morning, have to clean my braces and then go to school. But then I discovered dental tablets and just got a bowl in the morning, turned on the hot tap, put on a tablet, put in my braces after rinsing them under the tap and then pour some hot water in, hot water dissolves the tablet around the retainer and I don't have to worry about full on brushing it because originally when I got it I used to have to get a toothbrush and toothpaste and scrub them clean I had to just like scrub and it was rather annoying <sighs> But, um, yeah, I've done a full talk about braces today, so I hope you learned something you didn't know about braces before. But yeah, also when you take off tram tracks, your gums are really weird, like your gums full on mess up, because your gums have just settled into this thing where they can rely on the tram tracks to like move your teeth, and because they've allowed the tram tracks to move your teeth, they're just sort of weak. Your gums are weak for a little while. And that's why you got to wear the retainer both to stop your gums from moving the teeth back. And because your gums are a bit stupid and want to move them back for some reason. So yeah, I still have to wear a retainer. Every once in a while I forget to put it on. And I have a much better night's sleep when I forget to put it on. Because if I forget to put it on, then, then I don't feel it in my mouth. And it's just... Brilliant to not have this feeling in my mouth, and when I talk, it really irritates the side of my tongue. So, I'm gonna end this video here, guys. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.